but if there's ever going to be a team to stop them, it's one that's got four major trophies standing behind them, playing within those ranks. This is a team, Falcons, that has the experience to shut it down. Greatness in the server. Will it be a great game? There's only one way to find out. We're kicking this one off in Anubis. The first time we'll see Donk on the server, and he's going up against the greatest coach of all time with many of the great players standing in front of him. Mr. Run is live. Spirit is going to be attacking into the defense of Falcons. A little bit of utility. Molotov, two smokes for Team Spirit to use to break into the bomb site, and it's quickly. It's a little bit of a movement towards this eight bomb site. Four players going to be tapping in when there's a stack. Falcons are ready. Initial engagement is a stalemate. Running out of ammunition. Now the Glock's going to swing the corner. And that just retreats. Gets back into position. Cake is his spot. And he'll stand and he'll fight. Eventually taken out by Donk. Falcons were flawless on pistols mostly yesterday, but this time Spirit are giving them a taste of their own medicine, coming out swinging into this eight bomb site. And they put Snappy left in a 1v2 clutch. He runs right back in, and that headshot draws it down to just Donk, and he steps up in his first round on the stage. Nice triple kill, three and nothing. That'll help calm down the nerves. A solid pistol round to get you comfortable, to get you ready for what's coming next. Almost a pistol round victory or clutch for Snappy as he comes through the smoke. He's able to take down Shiro, which is a player of his stature, probably not used to the amount of attention he's not getting at this point. He's one of the best offers in the world. His transfer over to Spirit has obviously made them an instant contender. Forces Snappy away. Donk now swings, goes for that fight, receives some damage, deals some out. Changes the position because now it's about Team Spirit chopping through middle. First two kills are in. Supply stepping up in that 5-7. It's a swift double kill, but Magic needs to get this one if there's something to be had here. And it certainly looks like there's something available for Falcons. That headshot draws Magic's and the bomb. This round is pretty much the same as previous, except for the fact the timing of when Falcons switch over to middle is just perfect. And even if they get the bomb, they're not going to want to traverse to the B bomb site. They're going to be coming right back towards A after they pick it up. And Magisk is already having a flank through A main. This round is exceptionally dangerous for Spirit. Timing, looking back, jumping around that corner. Zontes goes down, so it's Donk up against his first real clutch. And he called out Magisk specifically, saying Magisk with an Intel Grand Slam, with four major trophies, this guy would be interesting to go up against, and he's got his chance. Magisk has been in this arena. He's lifted the major trophy on this stage, and now he gave us up against a player taking his first steps on the stage itself. And he's moved out towards main. He's got the angle on him, making steps. Magisk knows, and Dark wins the clutch. That is delightful. That is divine. So sick to see him in a clutch. He never lo looks like he's going to lose a 50-50 jewel. I, you are, I mean, we, we've touched so much on the confidence that he just exudes in the game of Counter-Strike, but I mean, in a round like this as well. Remember, Magisk was the only player to go down previously, so he had no armor, and I think Donk just knows he's got all the advantages, no cause for panic. Things looking good. This time, they've busted out of that default spread way earlier in the round, and on a nice timing, it's going to put a lot of weight on the Magisk. Smoke coming in, peeks before it, and there's Donk. Yeah, Instantaneous Donk. headshot. Magisk can't handle him right now. He cannot handle him. And this A site has fallen, and Falcons are locked out of this again. You can't really go for the retake. There was not enough damage done. You're not in a position to feel comfortable. And in fact, because Team Spirit have been so dominant at the start of this, they're hunting them down on the beaches. Snappy's not allowed to save. Falcons may be allowed the mercy of three, but that push from Chopper's coming in through that B bomb site as well. So these weapons look like they're going to be cleaved out of their hands. And that would be an absolute disaster to kick off this game for Falcons. Chopper goes into the cave. Some Pius will stand stall, and he's got himself the white knuckle grip on his weapon. Desperately trying to hold on to it. Boris does the same, and they're doing a good job here, Falcons, at just pushing back this hunt. Right, but I mean, you're still going to lose the round, and then you still have to be put in the situation. Zontix does find one, does find Boros, and some Pius won't take that peek. It's all well and good. It's a silver line to take a couple of those guns away from, from Team Spirit and keep at least one in the hands of some Pius alive. And it was yesterday that Falcons had their great, strong start to settle into the stage environment against ends. They've got a completely different story at the moment. Snappy trying to play aggressive on the CT side. He's fully committed into the canal. And Zontix is going for this peak. He wants to fight him, and he turns back. It's incredible from Zontix. The awareness and the composure to spin back and take that second kill. Sun Pius is going to have to deliver if he wants to claw Falcons back into this round. 
Magix has got, oh, it looked like, yeah, perfect timing. He might still have that opportunity. He receives the headshot first, but the AK-47 superior in that fight. Madden is going to be frustrated about that moment in 40 seconds left. It's the two players on the other side of the map surviving for Falcons. And once again, Team Spirit head into A. So he'll stand away until the final moment. And we'll go for a spam and a swing at the end. So Pius will not get his weapon. Nothing saved over for Falcons. There is no mercy on the server today. Entirely worth it for Team Spirit. Entirely worth it to take away such a valuable weapon. And Falcons in an awkward economic situation. They'll have to make a decision during this second time out they're using. This is Zonic. Greatest coach of all time trying to come up with solutions. It's a new team. It's a new roster. It's going to be difficult to overcome these hurdles. They're still figuring things out. Sampaius realizes he has to take some risks. And that one's paid off. He goes around the corner. Zontix is taken out. Now Chomper feels like he can move through middle. In tandem, Dawn takes dark control. Yeah, but this is a, it feels like that was almost a go signal for Spirit on the other side of the map. However, they do call it off. Donk's got that position in towards Dark. He could get a second here, too. Snap, he's hiding behind the pillar, but how long can he hold it? He does step up. Donk is down, and Magic's down from Canal. It's a big kill up to the window, and he just detected Magic's too. Some Pius is rotating off. Remember, this was the only premium weapon alive. This off at the start of the round, and some Pius nails that shot, goes back again, but this time brought down by Boris, and he is sharpening his butcher's knife. He'll drop into the site himself. It's a hefty clutch ahead of him. Well, you got to start somewhere. Tapping the bomb, hoping to force someone into the open. Looking for camera. No one's coming through the smoke. Now you stick it, but your Molotov's about to fade. Magix looking to slice up Magix, and he's done it. No issue for him towards the back of the cake, and now he's separated it, but there's nine seconds left. He's so damn close, enough time to plant. And Magix just sits back. Boris, the butcher, bloody fate. A break. They got absolutely wrecked there. Never able to, to double up on that fight. 3v1, and they couldn't find any, any way to work together. An individual peak. This is alone as well. Snappy's left in the cold with no HP. Magix just works them. It doesn't look like it bothered him as all at all. And look, that's the round you come into it, basically with only an AWP, hold the phone, a little bit of aggression. The off yeah. works this push. A whole lot of aggression, trying to be disruptive, and it's worked out early doors for Falcons. Two picks, just like that. They wanted to run this earlier. It wasn't effective because Zontex took them down, but this time, Boras walks too far. A step in the direction of Chopper, and he sweeps him under the rug. That might have been too much when you already have a five on three. Now you've created a hole in the defense. Smoked out at heaven, severed off from his teammate inside of the site. It's good damage. And this is set up Falcons in the final 30 seconds to be in the favorable position to close this one. Team Spirit not on the site yet. Finally, they take that step. Ball plant coming in. Chopper falls. Snap, he gets a double. And now it's just Shiro in limited time. But a clutch ahead of him. If he had extra time, maybe there's a chance. But with that 10 seconds left on the clock and the shot for some pious, Falcons will not let this one slip. Not at all. That is really well done. You have the man advantage. Smartly played. And they've been growing in this tournament. Falcons have been getting better and better with every match we see them. And Madden still yet to fry. Gets Donk with that opening. Predicts the movement in middle. He takes his time as he walks through the water. I'll say in defense of Madden, this is really the only time he's had a great chance of getting involved in the action early. A lot of it has been him rotating in, in hopeless situations. Matt just gets in a little bit of trouble, though, because Chopper's found his way behind into the smoke. And Matt just didn't expect it. And when it clears, he's gone. Five on three and all three defenders at the B bomb site, so they have to push forward. Boros is gonna try and rotate back, blows a gap in the smoke, but not a comfortable fight. And he drops back, plays the discipline style. And now Team Spirit prepared to execute into an empty A site. Snappy's push is being detected, but that battle of the in-game leaders goes the way of the Dane. Doesn't matter, they already have the bomb site, and it'll be interesting to see how much Falcon pours into this retake because it's going to be smoked off at camera. No easy avenue back. Falcon still at the B bomb site. That might just be it. So far out of position, they don't want to risk the weapons. Such a comfortable environment at the moment. 
Maz has flashed into a man. They don't want to just sit back. They don't want to give them all of the control, but as soon as there's a reaction, as soon as there's a move made on the map, Donk makes his play through Dark and breaks them apart in that opening. Second in for Dark, holds down Mouse 1, and even though he gets eventually traded, Zontix is right behind him, and Spirit break through B. Yeah, he's done all the work nice and easy as they come at him, eliminate Snappy, and then just spots the follow-up swing from the defense at the perfect moment about attacking and actually going for this round. It's going to be 9-1. to one. Here's the initial contact. And remember, I mentioned earlier, Don't's been doing this every single round, but very rarely has he spun in and actually been aggressive with it. So we'll see what Falcons bring to the table. Up still in the hands of Sun Pius. He's got 11 kills. Oh, oh, oh. Dragon, make it 12. Oh, the trademark Sun Pius peak. And he's got two to open up round 11. You need some life. You look to the sun. And he sprints straight through that window. Snappy looking to take a risk. It's Chopper this time. Up and chop. Sensing a weakness and opening for Team Spirit through dark. Falcons look to plug it quickly. Boris was sent out to clear close. Ein goes off to expose. Peaks, but some pious still flicks back. That's three in this round so far. But is he going to be able to reposition back to A in time? Is that where Team Spirit want to go? And if they do drop into the canal, well, Madden's moved into position now to watch that. Magis goes back, and he's going to be that only A player having to deal with Chopper and Magix coming into this. Yeah, but this is such a solid position. This should be really well done. Magis got so many options in this position. He sees both. He can back away safely in towards A main and play it really dynamically. Delay as long as possible. Keep them trapped inside the bomb site for his teammates to arrive. Discipline use of the smoke. Experience showing for Magis. Waiting on his teammates knows they have the huge huge advantage in the player count. But Team Spirit, they're pushing forward. They're taking these fights. And suddenly, just Magix again. Surely he can't clutch inside of this site a second time. And the answer to that is absolutely not. Madden takes him out towards heaven. And the second round, it was far hard for, but it's some pious that gets them there. With Magis, with Boros and his skill, with Madden in the game he played yesterday, you're only getting some pious at the moment, able to find any success and any comfort with the plays he's making. And even though his kills look great too, there's been a lot of those being exit kills, just trying to save to his AWP. He knows exactly what that aggression looks like and doesn't take any damage for it. Donk's about to round this corner at mid. Madden waits for him. Madden hits that headshot. Second kill this time for Falcons. They're not being broken apart in the mid position. Shiro decides to eradicate the defense, though. And when his riflers are down, it's the AWP that's come to play. And now you've split the defense as well. A defensive smoke deployed. They're coming right through it. They don't want to wait. It's all on Boros. That's a good first kill for Boros. Magic falls. Boros with the decapitation on the second. Just Zontix with a 1v3. Falcons so desperately need a third round. This was not a good CT half, but it's doable if they win an extra round here at the end. And Zontix peeks towards heaven. Boros is slightly overextended, but it will not matter. He will secure a final round, a third for the Falcons to close this first half. But Team Spirit, their first stage match is full of swagger. Retake scenario, let's see what they've got. Everyone coming from CT spawn. One player is going to come in with a late play towards Temple. And Chopper, he's got that smoke. He's got the kit too. So they've got extra seconds to play with here, Team Spirit, as they attempt this retake. Snappy sits at the back of the platform. And some Pius will deplatform. Zon takes good double headshot from the chopper. The propellers are swinging, but it's Falcons that come through with the T side pistol. That's spectacular again from Sun Pius. 18 kills now, quad kill in the pistol round to keep Falcons in this. That round loss could have buried them. It goes the other direction. And Donk is becoming one of the best dark players in the world. And now he's set up for a play with Magix aggressive out of B main. Snappy realizes there's a gap to move through dark and possibly even more of a gap towards this A bomb site due to the numbers spotted. So Zontix, you said you're gonna step up on the stage. Let's see if he really means it. Double kill, lines it up. Madden takes him out swiftly. Rotation's coming through. And Donk is the first player to arrive. Here's that AK-47. Thank you very much, Boros. The Spawn Egg has its new sovereign. Donk just runs them over. That's really well. Uh, you got to give all credit to Zontix there, though. Yeah, the Donk kills at the end are flashy. But Zontix has no utility. He's got nothing to slow down that hit. The fact that he gets a double out of this is absolutely wild.
Nade on his feet, still manages the first fight, cleans up the second one as well. Some Pius couldn't handle it, and then Dahl comes in for the cleanup. Doubled up on the scoreboard, 10 to 5. And Falcons very quickly brought back down to Tech Nines and a Deagle, no AKs on the map. And remember, all three timeouts used in the first half. So a quick call, nice and simple from Falcons, trying to break open this A site. Zontix goes one for one. He gets early information on the amount of players that have pressured this bomb site. But it's about Madden on the flank. Shiro detects it, locks him out of the play. Boris has to send a shot right back and does so immediately. They're not calling it off just yet. They're repositioning. They're sending Donk to the beach. And he's joining up with Magix to come in with a double setup through heaven. Noise being made in the water. That causes the swing. Some pious manages one, but again, it is Donk even on low HP. But Boas eventually will take him out of it. And because of Shiro's initial damage, he cannot do this. He has to retreat. Once again, Zontix very early on as well is pretty much out of utility. One flashbang to work with when this smoke clears, so he's going to step forward. Oh, he clears close angle, but there's plenty more players around that corner. Magnus is probably closer than he would have expected. And when that flash in, Zontix thought he turned in time, but he turns back to a mouthful of lead. I think he wanted to, he saw the map, the map control utility in towards A main, and he thought if he went for some aggression after it, he could catch him off guard. Oh, uh, over the top of the smoke, Magix just walks right into it. And now Snappy's got the map under his control. He can work this defense how he chooses. But he's got to cage up Shiro and Donk inside of this B bomb site. Shiro misses his shot, so it's Donk from the darkness, gets himself one more. But that's not going to be enough. That isn't enough to keep Team Spirit in this fight. Well, they're still here, still fighting back. Seven to ten Falcons within three. The nature of this game has changed because Team Spirit is back down to saving. No money in the bank for a buy. And Falcon's starting to warm up into it. And you can't say enough at this point for Sun Pius, who keeps delivering 23 kills to top the server. He's None of his teammates are even in double digits. Zontix with the rifle. That op could now be in position as well. They move through the mid smoke. Falcons disrespect the utility and they've gained information and now they've gained the element of surprise. Chopper had no idea. Absolutely no idea that Madden could be through and he isn't stopping through the camera. He will run past Zontix's crosshair and Zontix, oh, he's stuck the net. He's got away with a double still. And Madden is looking confused, makes up for his mess, but his teammates have to do the rest. He's with Magisk, and that kill from Donk has pulled it back in favor of Team Spirit suddenly. And they're in pole position to force 11. And the plant will be put through. A tough retake, but they have a man advantage. There's no kits, it'll have to be fast, and they're all here, and here we come. Magisk sticks down at Cake, his teammate out at May. He's looking for this first fight to go his way. He stays composed behind the Cake and swings on out to his death. And Shira makes the retake happen. This has pushed Team Spirit closer and closer to closing map one. Spirit coming out on top of it, but you can still say uh, they had the right call. Falcons moving through mid. They caught Chopper completely unawares on the timing. They had an exposed A bomb site with just Zontix, but yet again, he delivers another double kill. We mentioned he's one of the guys who said, I'm not worried about playing in front of a crowd. It's not, it's not logical. And it's pulling the defense, all this pressure. It's shifting Donk and Chopper. Madden cannot stop that peak. Get donked straight through the play. 30 seconds left. They're missing the window, though. They need to hustle this up just a little bit. Magix has dropped back with an AWP. It's a double up setup. Now Magix has gone down. They need to get into this bomb site right now. Falcons searching for survival. They'll drop out with that bomb. And that bomb is now on the ground and not where they want it to be. They've got to pick it up. Some Pius is burning. He can't handle the heat. He can't handle the round. He's run away and there's no time to plant. There's no time to win this. And even though Snappy gets a double headshot, one second ticks on and the round is over. And after the time, it's a headshot nearly coming through here. Donk will not get that final piece inside of Dark. Well, the fake doesn't work. Too many players picked off, nobody having success, and Spirit's able to shift back. 12 to 8, four chances to close out the map. This is the swing you thought Madden was going to hold the angle. And the questions about whether the update was going to nerf Donk, well, nope, not yet. <laughs> Definitely not yet. No, it really doesn't let you make any kind of a complicated game plan across the map. And actually, Chomper 
being very aggressive. This is going to be a flash peak. Boros is playing anti-flash, but he's very close up. Here it comes. Chopper swings. Good flash for Falcons. As Chopper is blinded by in that maneuver, and Donk has to be careful. He doesn't get timed on. He's having to worry about multiple angles, but they don't buy him. No scope from some Pius is an essential trade, but suddenly it is just some Pius and Madden. Falcons about to concede map one. Magix with a brilliant headshot. It's been so stylish from Team Spirit. They're in start of a grand final here in Katowice, bringing Donk onto the stage for the first time. And they're about to shoot down the Falcons on map one. Madden wraps around the site. As it was clutch yesterday, we can't keep him out of any of these situations, but the time is becoming limiting, and Magix will remove him. It's Team Spirit one map up in this semi-final, searching for a grand final versus FaZe, and they're damn close to it. comes that utility. Chopper's the man dishing it out. Donut smoke is going to cause a couple of problems for Falcons and a couple of decisions to be made. And there is no donut smoke yet. Eventually it will land. That's the second smoke coming in alongside CT. So Dog swings out. There's the pistol. Started off strong again from Dog. And that quad don't stop. Dog pushes forward, breaks through the A defense, and has pushed Falcons completely away. Now he's got two guns. Let's see what he can do with it. Falcons, like, do you even go for this retake? I mean, you can't hear him scream on the stage this time, but you're hearing the shots ring out of those jewelries, and you know you don't want to go back into this, but you have to face the Donk. And he stays outside of Donut. Snappy's a little further back in that position, but Donk is getting itchy feet. He wants to move into spawn. The Jewel Beretta is brought down by Magisk. A second headshot picked up by the Dame, but the time is just ticking on too far. This round is slowly expiring, but Snappy dives on to default and will die in that same position. <laughs> Leading the scene, Team Spirit run away. I actually don't even think Falcons really wanted to go for that until Magisk gets two long distance kills. They're like, all right, well, I guess, I guess we are. I guess we're here, we might as well but it doesn't matter. Shut down immediately afterwards and Team Spirit has a one to nothing lead. He's just devastating, isn't he? When he just gets going, even the awkward fights, he still wins them. And it turns out you still can hear those yeah, screams. You still get to hear it a little bit. Snappy is sprinkling bullets down at lane, but it's all about this fight and some bias. Oh, he held the angle, but Zontix rips apart that AWP. And now Magic senses a gap in his B-bomb site defense, so he pushes forward as he does so often, setting up Dawn for that follow-up kill. And as he falls, Shiro answers, and the bomb will be planted for Team Spirit. Falcons have got to go for this one, and Magic has got the blind side. Shiro wasn't seeing that. He's the only one there. They, uh, they got to be a little bit careful. Zontix is coming over slowly, but there's no one defending this bomb at the moment, really, except for Chopper. They're going to piece that together soon. They're going to realize Zontix was far away. Last spot he took that A bomb site, and Boris holds. And just as we call his name, he finally finds impact on Ancient. Yeah, that's, that's curious, though. Team Spirit, when two players go down at that B bomb site, they got everything they wanted in terms of the entries, in terms of the trades. Donk doesn't care about the elbow pressure. He knows he's got a timing to get out to those bottom boxes. But will they read it? Will they predict it? It doesn't even matter if they're looking right at him because Donk is faster on that trigger. And his teammates are with him. He's never alone. He's always got the supportive spirit beside him. But he knows Magix is still in the B lane. And while he stands, Snappy cannot make his move. And just about to peak. Timing favors Snappy, but Magix considers he looks back. I think he spotted the shoulder. I think he pulled him into that play, made the footsteps so that Snappy would get out of position. And now it's all on Magix. And from the big box, there's a big round here. Flashes over, sound made. Good peek out, instant decapitation. Magisk with the double kill. Shiro tries to get through the smoke. It's a 1v2 ahead of him. And this time he's got a little time to play with. He'll sprint towards the side, switches to the AK-47 instead by Magisk with a magical round. Holds from the big box, and where they need him to step up most, he's right there. There it is. There's a little bit of life and all that experience. Good round from Magisk saving the day, essentially in a 1v3 at that big bomb site. Uses trickery and positioning to win it out. It all started in middle. The trade game. And Matt just ends this round with all five kills, an ace, as he's puts it together.
And yeah, that's an appreciative glance from Dunk. He said he wanted to play against Magisk. And Snappy plays towards the ramp. It's an MP9 ready, letting off the lease at this point. He's going for that. And Dog <laughs> stops him from making a move down B. And now he'll make his move up the ramp because he senses danger. And he wants an attack on Madden. Dog is delivering again. And he keeps on going. This little Siberian psychopath once again getting through the bomb site, blasting through the Falcons' defense. Well, we heard it from Elise. Everything he does is simple. He just does it really well. And this is just aggressing into the bomb site without a whole lot of support. Not waiting for flashbangs, not caring about the perfect smokes, just hitting headshots. Boros will be here. Sun Pius is going to have to step in front of a smoke that surely lands in that position. Here comes the execute, but Sun Pius is in transition over to Temple. You know what he can do on this side of the map when he's given the opportunity. The first kill for Sun Pius, the second's a miss. It goes between the legs, and now he sees a double molly fly towards him. He's cancelled out for the moment. They now focus on the Western Zoltics. What the hell? He runs right through the CT smoke. And he comes away with his life somehow, and they're not stopping. Spirit pushed through every smoke. The Swagger on display. And just some pious now left in this clutch. He was last detected towards the temple. It looks like he's going to pray and leave away this round. A missed shot. There is no retreating. There is no disengaging. Zontix pushes through CT and finishes the round in Donut. I don't even know what you're supposed to do if you're Falcons in that scenario. Like, they're so aggressive that entire time as a group, pushing everything. Communications have to be hectic. Comms for how do you organize yourself how do you with this expect kind of a push? that? Like, you don't read that. You don't think that's a move that's coming in. I mean... Spirits even nading themselves as they aggress towards Donut as well. All of it is just crazy. And they're running out of ammo, having to switch to the Glock. They're just having fun up there, playing the Counter-Strike they want to play. And it's taking them a step closer to a grand final. A little energized. The chance that were supporting ends last night have transferred over. Boros with a double D to start this round. Picks up a spoil of war off the ground. M4 now in his hands instead. Magix defends the bottom B ramp, but he fails to do so. Madden overruns him with that 5-7. And we've seen Falcons run this against Ants yesterday. They were able to come out with pistols, pick them up, and get rounds in the bag. And now in a 2v4. Now starting to shift as Snappy gets information, but quick kills at this B bomb site might make it easier. But now the game is up. And now the flank is coming in, bearing in ever closer. A chopper through the ramp. Mission impossible to recover this one. There's a big headshot. Magisk is taken out of play. Two plays on the right side. Chopper's going around the corner. He can separate these fights. And he does. Shield bites back too, but it's all on Snappy. And they don't see him. They don't see this play. And he denies that bomb plant. Now gets away. It was so important that he oh. took a step back and he's mollied himself off. He's given himself a bit of cover as that molly burns bright. And maybe not as much as Chopper. He swings out from default. And this was a 4v2. Pulled back by Chopper. Pulled back by Spirit. And that's the chance for Falk slipping through their fingers. Once again, just like the clutch on Anubis from Magix, it's just Falcons have the numbers at this bomb site, but they can't slow it down enough for Snappy to get closer, and they can't find ways to take fights together. Shiro with perfect cover for Chopper with the AWP. This is how it starts. All is well and good. Madden got one more, but look at Shiro with the AWP. Gonna take the deeper cubby. Transfers over just as the follow-up peak comes in. It's beautiful. They have plenty of those, but not a lot of utility behind it. They fight from it early. They've got the mid control, and some pies from off the top rope rips apart Chopper. Good start, but Spirit's already aggressing up B ramp. They're not slowing things down whatsoever. Sliding in, talk again. He finds kills what? in this bomb site whenever he wants them. It's only Sun Pius who can shut him down. And so Pius has to do even more than that. He pushes through the fire and the flames, and this time steps a little too far to his death. As Magis now comes back down ramp, he knows he's occupied by Magix around the corner. And Shiro secures another round for Team Spirit. This T-side is not stopping. And the question becomes how long until Falcons realize this, because they're, they're, there's, there's no nades, there's no footsteps towards B, there's nothing in middle as well. And just now, there's the indication, so good luck. So Donut smoked out, Boros gets caught before it pops, and just like that, Team Spirit slice open the site. Mazis is the only player fighting right now for Falcons. A kill back, but not enough. And Sun Pius has not moved. Has not moved from the B bomb site. This retake is never even an idea for Falcons. 
And in the semi-finals, after a Zonic timeout... Here we go again, towards Cave. Chopper calls the perfect play towards the A bomb site. Magic holds inside of the cave, at least will stay alive with those weapons. Very important kills to preserve what weapons, what little Falcons have to fight with. Chopper's calling, Donk obviously, Zontic standing up when needed most, Magic's with his clutches, Shiro delivering, oh, it's a heads up fight, and Donk goes out with that first. Zontic's with him, and then burst through middle. Gives the advantages to Team Spirit, but they're short-lived thanks to some pious. And now what's the response? Team Spirit have to play this round without Donk. You focus onto the rest of the pack, and they begin their attack. Magic's at the front, up B. Snappy's searching for that opening. He's holding the angle towards the stairs, a preemptive spray, but it doesn't work out for him, but it's enough of a distraction to set up Madden. Madden comes around. He spoke of a dent to the attack. This is more of a scratch, but Falcon so desperately needed three. But getting out of the smoke is going to be so difficult. So many angles he's got to worry about. And now with that utility, they're going to be primed looking towards him, but he's just trying to separate 1v1 fights, and it's not allowed by some pious team spirit looking god godlike coming into this, trying to force themselves into the grand final. Donk investigating at the CT pistol. Spirit aggressive in middle, wanting to hold this push back. And there's the opening kill, it's Magic. Oh. Two. Donk goes down, but Shiro wants one more in mid, and that's the bomb on the deck. No, oh, they come out again, swinging, but fighting back is the final two players of Falcons. And now it's just Madden alone in this world, and we have seen him clutch on pistols. The sting is still there from Ants yesterday. This time without the Jewelies, this time the USP. He disengages back to with the elbow, but he's pushed by it too. And Falcons ain't winning pistol rounds today. It's Team Spirit up to 10, and when double figures run out this early in the second half of MR12, usually that path back is so treacherous. Shiro plays this just about perfectly. Obviously, Magisk with these two initial kills, it's absolutely massive, but when Shiro gets involved in the action, this kill, this one, and then he just hides. Kind of freezes Madden out in the open while he's waiting for his teammate Chopper to rotate over from the A bomb site and makes that an easy two on one. And it looks like with these smiles breaking out that Spirit can start to feel like those grand finals are in the palm of their hand. Some pious is through into Donut. Zontix defends once again. This man holds down the ship. What an anchor he is today. Shiro swings out from default. Falcons do not get through. Their wings are clipped today. Spirit have them in captivity. Snappy and Boris have nowhere to go, and they threw everything into this. And they couldn't even get through the smoke. Zontix just chilling behind it still. Boros in middle going to go on a mission in Red Room. But one already lies in wait, that's Magix. He's even got Shiro joining up with him just in case. But this flank is gonna go nowhere. Yep, he's got too many angles to worry about, and once he makes a step further, he is dead. And BM as well, just get the extra bullets into the body because they are full of absolute unbridled confidence at this moment in time. You gotta make sure the zombie's not gonna stand back up. Yeah. I mean, Team Spirit throughout the group stages, they came in with a statement performance, and we got to, to open the tournament commentating Donk, and it was a very exciting time, but we had expectations. He exceeded them. And now we're in the playoffs. There just doesn't seem to be any stop to the madness. Any opponent they've thrown at him. We've had FaZe in the group stages. Now we've thrown them up against Falcons. We gotta start inventing more things to challenge him with. We gotta start finding more ways. We'll keep moving the goalposts. But he's knocked them all down. Maybe the only person that can beat Donk is Donk himself. Falcons sprint through the double doors. At this point, throwing everything they can at this attack. Boros comes off the ledge. Chopper in Jaguar. Oh, holds down. It's what? awkward. How has he got away with that second? It looked like he ran out of ammo, but the last bullet perforates the skull of Boros. And Falcons are feeling this as their final blows. They are winded. There's no breath. There's no life inside of Falcons. They will not soar in the semifinals. There's no utility. <laughs> Walk up and see what you can get. That's the only option. Snappy's trying to be loud and take some attention away from Sun Pius on ramp. It's oh. not working. Double peaked at the worst possible moment. 
none of the kills, none of the fights going Falcon's way. Snappy now detected towards Cave, and they all swing in. Spirit are unrelenting. They are savage. And now Falcons go into a purchase that is now likely to be their final purchase in the spot deck. This team Spirit is playing so well. They have earned this grand final spot. Demolished, as you mentioned, everyone that's been put in front of them in this group stage, all the way to the playoffs. And off support as well, Shiro's coming over, but Magix looks like he wants to give it up, so doesn't want to keep in the aggressive stance. He's going to spot ahead over the top and takes down Poros. Unsuspecting, Nade to follow up, does a little bit of damage. Magic stays aggressive, and now he's got Shiro peeking with him, and even though he takes damage, Madden's not going to want to push forward either. There is a red room flank coming in, but there's so many players for Spirit, they can look at that, surely. Magis does take out Magix. But under a minute now left at this point. And Falcons are still fighting in this one. St. Pius's headshot has taken Chopper out of the equation, but Zontix knows that he can sandwich in Magix with Donk. We don't see Donk losing many of the peaks. He might not even have to as Zontix comes around the back. It's another step closer to closing this one out. 35 seconds remain. There's no openings for Falcons either. And Dog's back at A. Exactly. That shift over is perfect. So they're going to throw a little bit of utility to make Team Spirit feel like they're repositioning to the other side of the map. And it works. It pulls Shiro over. But Zontix is still here. And he's been just fine in these moments. Despite all of the experience, despite all of the greatness, Falcons will fall to spirit they fall to donk for the first time they take those steps for the first time shira and donk walk up together team spirit take the spodek in their stride donk is through to the final of his first prestige event he walks in the footsteps of monacy making the grand final on his first intel extreme masters katavitsa appearance but now the question stands, will he take one step further? It's going to be a very tough test. But here today, at least they get a pass with flying colors. That was no stress. That was no issue. They melted through this, Fal this Falcons team like they didn't even see him in position and handshakes all around. Falcons and Zonic know they've got some work to do. It's been the conversation, a long-term project as they try and put these pieces together. And Team Spirit today was just far too much for them to handle.